Hey guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to be doing the Walking Dead issue 144 in-depth discussion about the 12 heads on the spikes. Um, so, mainly I'm just going to be talking about the last, I don't know, nine pages that we have of the heads on the spikes and then the discussion between our characters about it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, yeah, nine, and then we have about nine pages of the heads and stuff discussion, so... First, we start off with this awesome two-candle spread, spread, kind of, uh, of Rick coming upon the 12 heads on the spikes. And then we see the first six, which is Olivia, Josh, Dr. Carson's brother, Air, Tammy, Luke, and Aaron. So, those are the si first six heads. And then we have Ken, Amber, it never says what this guy's name is, Oscar, Rosita, and when I first read this issue, like, I mean, I read it in the volume, but um, when I first saw this, we did not know where Andrea, Michonne, and uh, Dante were. And I thought that this was Michonne's, like, wig stuff. So I was like, oh, my God, they just killed Michonne. But, no, it was actually, um, shoot, I missed it, uh, Ezekiel. So that, so right now, I know that 11 out of the 12 people that were killed um, I do not know the one guy's name because it, all it talks about is how he left with um, the bald-headed girl. Or at least that's how the guy described him, but her name's Alpha. So, um, and then we have a lot of people discussing it. And then we have Andrea, Michonne, and Dante who come up behind Rick and um, Carl and Lydia. And Andrea says, what do we do now? So, obviously, we all know what this is going to want to make the people retaliate. And try to, um, shoot, I forgot. Oh, yeah, try to, like, hurt the whispers on uh, this. Yeah, this does lead to the thing of the whole thing, talking about how they want to hurt Lydia, and then they go to the hilltop and stuff. But either way, so that's getting a little out of hand. I'm talking about further issues. But so I just wanted to discuss this really quickly because I felt that this was a big moment for the comics. And I have to say, I do, um, I do disagree very much about their decision with um, having Ezekiel with the full page. I mean, yeah, he did get a little bit more story time than Rosita, but Rosita was introduced in issue 53, and he was introduced in issue 108, and they both died this issue, so that would make Rosita, she is, I don't know, 53. So she would, she's nine issues away from being in 100 issues altogether, but Ezekiel, he'd have to, we'd have to wait till 200, to the 208th issue for him to become, um, like, for him to be in the comic series for 11, for 100 issues. I do, that's one of the reasons I disagree, because Rosita, to me, she might not have been a bigger character, but, um, she's been around longer, I guess you could say. But on the other hand, though, Ezekiel, yeah, he was a bigger character, and we got to see a little bit more of him in Volume 24 before he was killed off, because we did not get to see a lot of him we have we have, didn't get to see any of him in the new beginning at all. I don't think no, we haven't. We didn't get to see any of the kingdom. Um, so then they finally returned in one thirty nine, and then he got killed off in uh, one forty four. So this was a big re breaking point for the comic book series because you have twelve characters now that are missing. And one thing I disagreed about Rosita being killed off is because I think she had so much story left, um, and so much for the fans to discover more about her character. Um, and also, in one of the letter hacks, though, I believe it was the letter hacks from 160, for, yeah, issue 162, where it talked about how Robert Kirkman said within the next 12 issues, we will get to see, um, who's, who Rosita's baby was, and people say that this, that, okay, I'm actually gonna take it back, we did not lose 12 characters in this issue, we lost 13, because you have Olivia, Josh, Dr. Carson, um, Tammy, Luke, Aaron, then you have... Ken, Ken, Amber, this random guy, Oscar, Ezekiel, and Rosita, and Rosita's baby. So, obviously, the baby's dead now, too, because, I mean, the woman that was carrying it doesn't have a head now, either. So, I mean, uh, like, the head and, and her body are not even connected anymore. So, uh, so yeah, that was just a little bit of an in-depth discussion about The Walking Dead issue 144. It's a great issue. Try to hunt it down. It's a major issue probably to have in your comic book collection. So I really, really like this issue. Also, this came out like, I don't know, two years ago maybe. But either way, um, yeah, this was a great issue. So make, 
So I'm trying to hunt it down. So, but thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time on my CWD channel.